So, future of the OCA. So first, I'd like to uh, excuse uh, Joel because he had some personal matters to attend, so he won't, he wasn't able to uh, to provide this talk. And for the one that that attended last year, uh, if you remember, so this talk was really a call for for participation for people to join because. Uh, we saw numbers going down and, and there was, we wanted to give like a, an electroshock to the community to uh, start not just being uh, observer or, or passive, but to take a more active role and, and, and try to give an impulse to the, uh, to the community. So we'll see where we stand today. And uh, so first, uh, Hope you, you're, going, you're having fun so far with the uh, talks and sprints and training uh, during those OCA days uh, with the uh, challenge of being online. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, our OCA sponsors, uh, the one that, that provides uh, uh, financial resources for those events and, and more to, uh, to happen during, during the whole year. And uh, if your company wants to join, or if you want, if customers are interested to uh, to be part of that list and and take advantage of the benefits we offer, please let us know. Uh, I think you can contact us at sponsorship at udocommunity.org, and uh, we'll uh, greatly uh, help you get get them signed up as a as a sponsor. Few reminding a reminder of the of who we are and, and our mission here. It's it's pretty straightforward. Hasn't changed for uh, more than six years now. Uh, the idea is uh, still to promote the uh, widespread use of Odoo uh, and support the uh, collaborative development of Odoo features. And that's that's. Don't think there is any requirements for change here. I think it's still pretty relevant uh, today, uh, especially with the uh, uh, progress that that Udo is making slowly in the uh, in the market share. Uh, I think the our goal in the OCA is to uh, follow follow that trend, but try to uh, gather all the people that share the same value, have the same mindset as, as we do here, and uh, uh, nurture this, this community of, of open source values and, and sharing, sharing stuff. So the reason we founded the OCA uh, it was to uh, increase quality of community module. Uh, so again, I mean, th this, is, this is the same reasons that that applied a couple of years ago in 2014. I think there was the, the OCA is still relevant today. Uh, we need to uh, we need to maintain uh, we still need to maintain the, the quality of module. We need to improve visibility uh, of project and module and, and not only project and module I'll say also people because the idea is uh, there is there is people behind behind this the module you, you guys use on a daily basis. And, and those two OCA days are the opportunity to put a face on those people and start a, a relationship that goes further than just using their module, but helping them with the migration and, and so on and so forth. So that, that will help the third bullet here, is, which is ensuring the long-term support of our modules. And uh, Avoid, avoid similar and redundant development. And to a certain extent, because uh, the idea is we also want to promote innovation and that innovation also requires some, some different path to be taken, to be tried, to be evaluated. And, uh, and that, that's, that's one of the ideas as well is to uh, uh, also make sure that the uh, OCA can be an incubator for, for new, new stuff like we just 
listen to uh, uh, Wolfgang and the uh, field service module, for example. Uh, the OCA aims to provide a partner independent legal entity to protect intellectual, intellectual property. Uh, we didn't have much problem this year, but it, it happens in the previous ones where uh, that those, those values, uh, authorship, uh, maintainership needs to be uh, enforced. Uh, so we try to be uh, as vigilant as we, as we can on this. Uh, again, if you find uh, uh, some license infringement or some bad behavior that needs to be corrected, just let us know. Uh, we, have, we, we will take this as, a, as an important matter. Uh, provide a unified voice to discuss with OWSA uh, and use some of us. I, I've listened to uh, Fabian's talk today. Uh, he's always open to uh, listen to any any feedback we have. I think uh, one of, there's no guarantee of being listened 100% of the time, but the communication is there. Uh, I think uh, it's important to maintain it and uh, and and have it, yeah. And provide resources for CA projects, uh, infrastructure. I think we, uh, Stefan gave a good talk uh, and training on on how you can benefit from from all the tools uh, to automate your process, lower uh, any uh, barriers that we you may have to contribute, and and that that's. I think it's still relevant today uh, for the uh, to the OCA. So a year ago, that was the number we published, uh, and that that was the reason uh, the the most appearing uh, reason for for the for the the call. We we asked for the community to get involved because it's it's. We saw we want this community to be successful. We want this community to grow, and so that that's where we were uh, last year. We had a pretty good response uh, after the uh, uh, the Joya talk last year. We got lots of people joining in uh, as members, uh, getting involved, uh, and we also took some some actions to facilitate uh, this involvement. So we are uh, not sure if, if we introduced or, or more published or advertised the maintainer role, and that, that's something we'll continue to do, is, is decentralize the, uh, the, the responsibility and because and, it's not nine people in the board or 60 in the uh, delegate assembly that can prepare the, this community. It's community is propelled by, by by you, by the members, uh, by everything, by everything you do uh, related to the OCA. That that's uh, that's what we uh, we envision here. We, along with the maintainer role, we uh, included the uh, development statuses. Uh, and again, I think that's where we may have made some some communication opportunity here. But you now have. Uh, a module can have one of those four uh, development status, alpha, beta, stable, and mature. Uh, the details of each of those uh, uh, statuses are detailed in, on our website. Uh, you can see what they, uh, what's their impact, what, they, what, what do they mean to us and to our end user. But the whole idea here is you can now, and uh, that's the feedback I had during Odoo experiences. Oh, my! I pushed my module to the community, and it's staying there for months, and nobody reviews it, and it's never get merged. Well, the idea with the maintainer role and those development statuses is you can now merge your own pull request uh, for alpha and beta modules. Uh, for those two two statuses, that there's no requirements for uh, for the unit test. And uh, the OCA bot that uh, was developed allow you to, uh, uh, with a comment on GitHub, just uh, merge those modules. And I think that's I think that's 
that's a very important uh, point to mention because it removes all the barriers for, for anybody who wants to join, anybody who wants to contribute a new module. And uh, by sending the, the status correctly, you also reset the expectation. And you also kind of takes on or off some, some responsibility because if someone's complained that you didn't provide the migration script for your alpha module, well, that's on his own. It's, he's ma he made the decision. And, and so you, you were clear about your intention right from the beginning. So we we'll, we'll hope this, this will help uh, people to come back, to join, to, uh, there's lots of modules today that are being maintained by OCA members outside of the OCA. Uh, I think uh, we hope we made it easier than ever to, uh, for you to maintain those modules within the OCA. And uh, we're hoping that we'll, uh, those statuses will help promote innovation and uh, while remaining and while maintaining the uh, quality of the module and, and the reputation the uh, OCA has in the uh, larger Odoo community. Some, some stuff we also started uh, during this year is uh, the GitHub sponsorship. And we introduced the uh, $5 a month and $100 a month. Uh, why those two? The idea here is, is, not, to get, uh, is not to get one, one big contributor. The idea is to get thousands of small ones. And, and for, some, for some region in the world, I think five, $5 is still something accessible. Uh, for companies, uh, $100 a month uh, I don't, for, for the benefit of using an, an uh, OCA module, I think that's, that's a very small share of, of, the, uh, of, the, of the pie. And so as of today, we have 60 sponsors. Uh, we have like eight, almost $900 a month in recurring revenue. And our target is 3000 3, a month. And what, why do we come up with this number? It's mostly to kickstart open a grade. Uh, I think we mentioned it in different talks today and hopefully again tomorrow. Uh, this is an initiative that benefits uh, everybody uh, because at some point your customer will migrate and uh, uh, having control of the migration process of the migration schedule uh, is, is important. With those 3,000, we also hope to secure the uh, operation of the OCA, like server, uh, having uh, Rebecca helping us with the, uh, as a general secretary, uh, taking off and offloading some of the work the OCA members, uh, the all OCA board members have to carry. So that, that, that's, that, that's the, uh, one of the main uh, expenses uh, here and also uh, invest in marketing. We have a contract with a graphic designer. We hope events organization this year was, was pretty challenging, but again, it's, it still remains possible. There's still a space out there that, that needs to hear about us. So we hope with this GitHub sponsorship, it makes it easier uh, for, for everybody to, uh, to contribute. It's uh, a couple of weeks ago, I got, I got a, I think it was a tweet or, or, or Facebook messages. We don't have any issues to pay on a monthly basis to get access to a Spotify or Netflix, but we use OCA module on a daily basis. And I, I'm pretty sure like $5 a month is, is some, it's, it's not a big deal. It's uh, even for a hundred for, for a customer, it's, it's nothing. So today where we are, uh, and that was updated a couple, couple days ago by, again, by Rebecca, uh, we uh, have lower, less number of contributors on the mailing list, but uh, increased number of paid members. Uh, 
We hope to get more attractions this year with the uh, delegates. So remember that the uh, campaign is open. You can apply. Uh, check your email Rebecca sent a couple of days ago. You, you can apply as an OCA delegate. Uh, just as a reminder of the rules, you need to be a member. You need to have your active membership. Uh, and you uh, need to fill up a, fill up a survey uh, to describe yourself and, and the idea is the current uh, 48 delegates today will vote for 10, 10 new people to join the assembly among the, uh, the candidates. And hopefully we'll get after that the uh, uh, more people uh, applying as a board member uh, for, the, for 2021. So what do we, what's the target next for next year? What's the, uh, the goal for, for 2021? Uh, mostly, well, that, that's, that's my own opinion here. I don't, and the board member can jump in after the slides to, uh, to share their opinion, but I'd like the OCA to still be a, an even more uh, fun place and, and people to work with, uh, to have a, uh, that that's what makes its uh, its strength, as if uh, and also welcoming more diversity in terms of of profile, in terms of resources, uh, as we've seen uh, during the, those past couple of years. Uh, the, act, the community, the OCA, is pretty technical, and uh, I'd like I'd like to see more functional people uh, being involved, uh, taking the space. And, and kind of rebalance uh, the, uh, the distributions of, of, of profiles uh, in, in the community. And I'd like to see more accountant, more uh, inventory manager, and that functional consultant, project manager. So some people closer to, to the end user requirements and, and provide, have a, have a more diverse uh, perspective when, when discussing uh, bugs, when discussing new features and, and tools that we can, we can implement. We'd like to, I'd like to see more, more innovation as well, more uh, open minds to uh, welcoming new, new stuff, even if it sounds redundant, because there, there are some boats, there are some train we cannot miss. And, and having this uh, innovation orientation helps us being make sure we are still up to date and and uh, and favor favor innovation favor also collaborations make sure that and it's not only collaboration by that I, I I'm not only meaning uh, well you review my pull request and I review yours and and that's it uh, I think I think we've seen in in a couple of the slides today. Uh, big initiatives are not done by just one one person or one company or one integrator. Uh, most of the biggest projects I've done, we had to involve uh, other community members, and that that's where uh, I think we can we are stronger together. And if I'm hoping during those two days, you can identify people you you can work with so that you can target bigger customer, bigger market or new markets and, and yeah, push, push boundaries and, and reach new, new territory here. It's, there is, uh, Udu is only 1% of the market share. There is a whole world out there that's just waiting for us to work together uh, and, and, and answer the, their requirements. I think we have we are meant to have a bigger space than the one we have we have today. How can you help with that? Like I said before, uh, we try to remove the barrier. So please give it another shot. Publish and maintain your module under the OCA. Uh, join as a contributor, become a member, apply for a delegate, sponsor the OCA on GitHub. Again, it's $5 a month or, or 100 and more, more than just you sponsoring, I think it's 
asking your customers or your end user to sponsor the OCA as well. Because I think for an end user in, in, a, in any company using Odoo, and that, that was the main reason I, I, I joined the uh, ERP world, is you have, by using OCA module, those people may have a chance to uh, get their job done on time, on budget, and, and be home and, uh, and enjoy family time or whatever the activity may be extra professionally. That's, that's a small contribution they can make uh, by, by giving some, some financial resources here to make sure that their solution is, is being maintained in the future. And so again, promoting the OCA around you, uh, I had a talk earlier today about organizing local events. So that, that I mean, there, there are so much to do that any uh, skills that you have, any times, any uh, effort that you want to make is welcome. If you don't know how uh, in, in, in more, than, more details than, than just this list here, Contact us, let us know, ask the people around you on, on Discord, on the mailing list, and, and we will help you uh, uh, canalize this, this energy, this, this time you want to give. Thank you. Any, I don't know if we have time for questions. Uh, otherwise, we also have, I think, uh, uh, other sessions to, uh, to uh, ask anything to the OCA board. Uh, that's that's pretty much it for me. I don't know if, if there's any questions or comments from the OCA board members that want to jump in here. Thank you. There's a question from uh, Marcos Mendes who asks if we can make if he can make an intermediary sponsor uh, ship in GitHub, something like uh, thirty dollars or something like that. Again, let's, like, like I said in, in one of the slides here, the idea of the GitHub sponsorship, I don't think it's takes too much from you. It's, the idea is I'd rather spend those different amount and spend it in talking about Odoo and, and uh, uh, in encouraging your customer, your end user to become sponsor. And, uh, and, and again, it's, the point here is not to have one big of, of very few small, very few big custom sponsors. It's, it's the idea is to, to have a mass where it's, it's a no brainer for that mass because the advantage is, is tremendous. So I'd rather have you convince other people around you. And what I mean, all the people is, could be your end user or, or friends or family members, but also, I mean, on a daily basis, I think we see uh, places where with inefficiency. We saw, we see stores where they could be organized better. We see uh, businesses that, that are a pain to work with. And th those are the guys that, that needs us, that needs our help. And so that, that's, that's the extra effort that will, instead of, I'm giving you giving a, the OCA an additional twenty five dollars. Make that effort to talk to those people and and push for the OCA and and that that's a lot more valuable that those guys join, become a user, become an OCA sponsor by giving a, again five five or hundred dollars a month because it helps their business, it helps their life. That that's that's the whole uh, objective here. Um, Virginie has another question who she asks if there's a blog article or any other content that we can use to convince and explain to our customers the value of OCA, what they benefit thanks to the OCA, etc., and uh, which is something that they don't really get at first. So we invested uh, a couple of years ago on a on two uh, brochure that are actually on the website uh, that have been translated in some languages. Uh, but if you, have, if you have people in mind that you want to target for this, 
I think let's let's just talk. Uh, we have we have content on the website, but that might not be suitable for for your case. And uh, yeah, let, let's continue this discussion privately. What what you need to convince them, and uh, if there are some other people in that case, we we can open up that discussion and come up with maybe it's uh, one sheet of, of paper or it's uh, or a slides or a video. Uh, I'm hoping during those OCA days. And with all the recordings that we'll, we will generate, those people will have a pretty good enough content to get an idea of why they should sponsor. Uh, I mean, there is various talks where we highlight uh, uh, customers' uh, case studies and, and, and the benefits that the, those customers have been having by using OCA module. Uh, that, that, that would be my answer. Like, let's continue this discussion privately or publicly, and let's revisit all the content that we have and try to come up with a convincing, yeah, one page or one email or whatever needs to be provided. Um, Maxime? Okay. Yep. Simona speaking. Uh, no, just want to say that this thing that you just mentioned uh, regarding, you know, writing, uh, improving the docs uh, in relation to why uh, there is a value in working with the community and so on. I mean, this is already a contribution. So the message, the message is, if you if you find something on our website that you think has to be improved or uh, completely uh, rewritten on or organized. Uh, feel free to get in touch with us and we can set up a, a workflow for this. And that's already a contribution. If you don't know how to code or how to do any technical review or things like that, I, helping us to maintain a good website, especially if it helps us to provide a good message, is very welcomed. I don't know if it's clear. <laughs> There's another question from uh, Carl Mason, who asks, uh, there's no pro rata membership. It's an amount for 12 months if you join in January or November. So for himself, why should he join now when the end of the year is so close? What we'll be doing uh, is we can open up the uh, membership for 2021 uh, right now. So that, that you can purchase it, and uh, and you'll be you'll be a member for 2021. Uh, otherwise, you can contact Marcos. He has 25 dollars to, <laughs> to spare, so you can he can afford part of your membership for 2020. But yeah, well, joke, jokes apart, he, uh, yeah, we'll open the uh, membership for next year, uh, pretty soon, I guess. Yeah. Also, uh, becoming a member now for 2020 allows you to candidate for being a delegate. You have until October 23rd uh, to candidate as a delegate, but you have to be a member as of 2020. So this is a huge advantage, in my opinion. <laughs> uh can I add something here? Of course. So, an additional explanation. So this is uh, based on an early design on how the, this is implemented in the OCA instance. And uh, we've considered having this one year periods to start during the year. The thing is that it would need a major redesign on how it's implemented and honestly we don't have the re didn't have the resources recently to take on that project so it's also it's like this now or it's stuck in this way of doing because we don't feel we have enough resources and or time available from the current board members to redesign it yeah that's also true Do we have any other question?
No, 